Go with slow and shadow on the mic, I play the win, never to lose In the contest of champions, I'm the one they choose Swipe, swipe, tap, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Cross I'm him. the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech, mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 48, and this is war number 9. And we're going up against an alliance that I cannot read their name, but Div 18. Division 18? Alright. Ooh, and they're Platinum 3. Hmm. Who did they ban? Uh-oh. Iceman, Bishop, now I understand what they do and why they're doing that and kushala yeah can't wait for this uh to be over but unless kabam uh learns we're just gonna have worse but anyway let's take a look here okay so we already know hulkling is coming in all right now this is interesting hmm i think i'm bringing gallon in I haven't brought Gallon in in a while. So Gallon, Hulkling, mm, Absorbing Man is over there, eh? Hmm. And we've got Shuri. Hulkling can do Shuri. Hmm, that sounds so bad. So I actually can bring in somebody to handle any of these, really. I could bring in um, Lady Deathstrike for Sauron here. Yeah. Hmm. And I have a, a nice, beefy Lady Deathstrike this time. Yeah, this is where all the mess happens up here. At least we don't see a Killmonger there. Okay, well, I will volunteer to take Absorbing Man or Sauron. Let me think. Because Hulkling could probably do that fight. And I might be able to take, uh, can I get over there? What would I have to do? Can I do both of those fights? Let's see, if I did this, I could take out Sauron and then, yeah jump back over here and do Absorbing Man. Hmm. So I might bring uh, Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, Hulkling. Gallon. And Lady Deathstrike. And I will volunteer for both of these. Let's see what they, what they say. All right, let's get to the fighting. All right, so I'm going in with Gallon, Lady Deathstrike, and Hulkling. I've been looking forward to bringing in Lady Deathstrike because, as you guys may or may not know, I just recently got her as a seven star and took her up to rank two. Now, in previous wars, all I had was my um, six star who was like rank four. And I was actually thinking about taking her up because she seemed to be taking a lot of damage um, like against Sauron, that special two, took her right out. And I was like, well, she couldn't even heal that. Now, I don't know if that was just because she was a six star rank four and I was facing, you know, rank fives and seven stars and all that good stuff, or... It was because the tier was higher. I think it was like one tier higher. And 
the node might have been stronger. I don't know. I'm really not sure. But I was looking forward to seeing how she did uh, in a similar situation. Now, I don't believe I did it in this fight. But, uh, or in this war. But the next war, uh, I do face a Sauron on that node and take a special two. And we'll get to see that uh, next time. But for this war here, of course, Galen is doing Galen things. Anytime he faces anyone that gets armors on this path, he's generally going to tear them up. Now, future Ant-Man is an exception because he has the, um, uh, I don't know, uh, damage cap in his kit. So... I can't nuke like what you saw me just do there and what I'm about to do to this Nimrod as well. Can't nuke him like that. Uh, you'd have to hit him a few times. So like this right here, boom. Can't do that to future Ant-Man. You'll do that and he'll only lose a certain amount of health. And I end up having to basically build up, fire the special about maybe three times, I would say. So, he can do the fight, but if you have somebody better, it's just better to, to bring them in, like Hulkling. Hulkling does a great job against future Ant-Man. Um, pretty much anywhere that he is, uh, depending on the node, but pretty much anywhere. Now, I just did that, because why not? <laughs> May as well, you know? I don't think I've ever done that in war. Because I really didn't see any reason for it. But anyway, Galen planted his seed. <laughs> I don't know who came up with those. But anyway, um, all you have to do with Hulkling against this future Ant-Man is wait out his armor. Once it goes out, hit into the block. You'll get a pierce and he won't get any more armor ups. Now, what I'm trying to do here is obviously I'm trying to hit into his block and he doesn't want me to, as you can see. All right, then he finally fires his special all to keep me from hitting into his block. Okay, finally I got into his block and unblockable, look at that. Mm, nasty. And I knew he was gonna come with that, but I was ready for it. Oh, 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 hey, he's frisky boy. Good boy, frisky. I had to do all this. Ugh. That boy was frisky and a half. Where's all that energy when I want them to be, um, you know, uh, aggressive? Then they're real passive. It's real annoying. That's what it is. Anyway, now we face uh, Shuri. Now, Shuri, I am glad they put her on this node because although it enhances her shocks, if you're going in here with uh, shock immune, doesn't matter. Now, you can't really parry her, but that's okay. Because Hulkling doesn't need to parry her. Now, what I do need to worry about is if she does a heavy, now that she has her 10 charges, she's going to go unstoppable or untouchable. That's the problem. Okay. And here we go. Oh, look at that. And I messed up. Didn't I just say that I have to watch for that? And that's exactly what I didn't watch for. This fight should have been over already. But I'm like, okay, all right, messed up. Let's reset. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. I don't have the charges. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yep, let's see if she can block this time. There we go. Now let's do it again. Hey! And now she's down. Fight should have been over a while ago. That other special should have been it. Okay? But it is what it is. Sometimes they'll drop their block and fire a heavy right when you don't want them to. Uh, but anyway. So those are my paths. And now I get to use Lady Deathstrike. So I signed up for two different fights but uh one guy 
got the other fight and I got Sauron. So no problem. People don't usually like fighting Sauron anyway, but I've learned to evade his special one. So not too worried about it. But what I was worried about was his special two. Now, this is the first, I think the first time I'm bringing in my seven star rank two to war and against this Sauron. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to try to play it safe. I'll play it safe and just uh, try to bait out his special ones. The problem is, you see that power gain? That's the problem. Sometimes I can't finish my combo or else I'll push him to a special two. Okay? So, as you see, I'm doing here. But I got... Th that's fine. Look at my health. Look at my health. Now, don't ask why. I'm not going to complain anymore. Nope. Not going to complain. But let's just say I know how to evade the special one. Okay? As you see there. But sometimes, I just feel like standing there and not evading. Or evading early or evading late or something like that. You know, just to spice things up. But as you notice, it's safe with her anyway. Look at her health. Her health went back to 100%. And one of the reasons is that she actually has the ability to heal um, more than she got damaged for. So that went beautifully perfect. I didn't have to worry about his uh, special two or anything like that. But the next war didn't go so well. Uh, and that special two came to meet me to the face. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for my participation in this particular war. Um, I was looking around to see if uh, there was any other one that I could maybe do. But that Weapon X, I can't do on that node with um, Lady Deathstrike. So we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Uh, let's take a look here. Take a look. Yeah, we just died a, a, a too much here. Shout out to our uh, MVPs here. Uh, but I want to mention something uh, right quick. So Kabam made an announcement that because of some messing up, this this whole season is messed up. But anyway, because of their own error, they were going to remove the um, War 7. Okay, so War 7 wouldn't uh count okay now i want y'all to see something here now this war right here we just did it right this is war nine nine eight seven so if they take our victory away you know look at look at our our record here you know, we have a, a fairly balanced uh, record. So one, two, three, four, five, five wins and four losses. Okay, pretty even. They remove seven. Yeah, that kind of hurts us a little bit, right? But they reverse that. So seven will count again not only that but they're going to be giving compensation on top of bumping everyone up one tier one uh yeah i guess one tier uh war rewards so wherever we fall we're going to get higher tier rewards plus compensation so we can look forward to that anyway that's going to do it guys take care hit the like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Yo, it's Lord Shadow on the mic. You play the win.
Never to lose in the contest of champions. He the one that choose. Swipe, swipe, tap, Lord's moves are slick. Dexterity more heavily, he dodge quick. Class chair, Lord the master of the game. Cosmic science, skill, technique, the claim. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord shadows the name, he the grind track back with every battle. He rise, never fall. In the Marvel contest, Lord. Stand tall!